everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Well, they are underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Tough spot to be in trying to match up with Manny Pacquiao if you don't have a lot in your gas tank because he's got plenty to give. Yeah, but it's a funny thing here. Manny, usually when you fight him, you got to worry about him attacking you and hurting you early. Manny has to worry about his opponent now, knowing he can't stay the route and coming out quick. That's a stinging right hand by Blood. He falls victim to that big hook. What a big shot. Manny Pacquiao is bored from that power shot. You know, sometimes a Pacquiao opponent can just time things. That's what happened there. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. He doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire, but he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. Don't so he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Well-placed hook there. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hook right on the belt line. Targeting the left hand down low. Pacquiao with a good block there. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Halfway through this round. Protect yourself! That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Gets rid of that body shot. He's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Blocks the head shot. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Blood. Blocks away that head shot. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joel, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Bloods the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. <laughs> Teddy, your expectations for Manny Pacquiao tonight? Well, what I always expect, first of all, that he's going to be aggressive. He's going to be friendly to the eye. A guy that you want to watch. And a guy who's going to try to get to you early on. All right, relax, relax. Relax, you just you got to relax. You got to move out there. All right, move. Move. Pacquiao's hope is for him to be steady on his feet and just survive at this point. Remember, that last round, he was down and nearly out. Well, his hope is that his corner revived him during that minute rest, and also they gave him good advice because the most important thing is don't let what happened the last round happen again. Correct what you did wrong. Unable to make an impact there by blood. To the head he goes with a left hand. Body shot lands, it was the right. Zoning in with the overhand left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. He's still not moving enough 
Teddy, Manny Pacquiao has many highlights in his career, but one of the things that I think when all is said and done on Manny Pacquiao that will be remembered for is his ability to take out the Mexican legends. Barrera, Morales, he's done it well. Yeah, he has done it well. And where he's done it is a mixture of power that those fighters had, but also speed. Manny Pacquiao brings speed to the game. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Blood. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Manny Pacquiao. by blood and he engages in the clinch watch that right. pulled the trigger on that overhand left Pacquiao's <laughs> throwing bombs away right now after being knocked down himself but Teddy he has to be very careful because that creates some real solid opportunities for his opponent yeah because the most important thing the most difficult thing for his opponent is to deal with the smart punches the straight punches, the jabs. That makes it hard for him to be able to zero in on the guy coming at him right now. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Manny Pacquiao's knockdown in that last round lead right has here, really right? got his corner this fight. pumped up here. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Keep working the body. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Forceful hook by Manny Pacquiao. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Teddy, many times that label of being a southpaw in boxing conjures up certain images. None of those images apply to Manny Pacquiao. No, well, Pacquiao, whether he was a southpaw or orthodox, he's not standard. He's very fast. He comes at you in any kind of angle that suits him for that moment. He will adjust on the fly. hook at all and he's holding what's left now getting into the mix good work on the combination by blood scored well with the left downstairs by Manny Pacquiao. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. Well, that's the time to go there, right at the beginning, because body work pays off for you later in the fight. No sense in wasting time. Get right to it. That is a big right hand after eating one himself.
Blood's punch is far off the target. That was really well done. Targeting the jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. Look at that! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Pacquiao's unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. He's probably going to mark that down as one of the highlights of his career. From out of nowhere, 